right. Clutter, clean up your desk. Some of you mentioned that. Clean up your bedroom. Your home needs to be a sanctuary for you from the world, from your clients, and especially your bedroom. Get rid of the crap. Get it off the floor. Get it off your nightstand. I, Susie's like, why did I come to this class? Because you knew you needed it, girl. You knew you needed it. Clean up your car. Your clients judge you and your ability to execute the most important project which is project management, which is the sale of their house or the purchase of their dream home. And your ability to execute on those details is incredibly important. It's an old proverb, how you do anything is how you do everything. If you're sloppy in your home, are you, and you're sloppy in your car, are you sloppy with your paperwork? Are you sloppy with your relationships? Are you sloppy with your contracts? Some of you are going, oh snap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, clean it up, kids. K, don't spend every dime you make. Some of you are doing, you're like, w w this is terrible. K, this is self confessed agents from all over the country who have been doing real estate for a short period of time and decades. Learning the lessons from people who have made every mistake in the book, like me. Don't spend every dime you make. Some of you aren't making enough to even cover your expenses. That is a different problem. You absolutely have to have a budget and you absolutely have to know where every single dime is going. You need to set aside money for taxes, money for savings, reinvesting in your business, which includes both marketing and education. Education is the lifeblood of a successful real estate business and you've got to continually reinvest in yourself. Try to earn one new designation a year. Um, they are such, it's such valuable information. And you have to have both a business and a personal budget. Statistically, most of you don't have a budget and we don't want that for you. We love you and we want your money to work for you and not against you. And we don't want you to work so hard working on every detail of every transaction and helping all of these buyers and sellers cross the finish line. And then where'd the money go? And then, then you're really stressed and you're frustrated and you're frazzled and you're tearing all of your hair out and it's in a pile on the floor and then you need to go see your doctor and get some Rogaine. That's a different problem, okay? You also need to cut expenses. Some of us are so busy on the hamster wheel that we don't pay attention to where our money's going and there's fees coming out, things we signed up for a long time ago, coming out on your credit card every month, and you're like, ah, eh, it's just 20 bucks. Well, how many times does it take for 20 bucks or 25 bucks to come out of your account before it starts to really add up? And what could you do with that money if you reallocated it? Some of you need a massage. How many of you need a massage? Yeah, there's your money right there, okay. Track everything. You need to assess that return on investment for everywhere your money is going. If you're buying leads, what is your rate of return? What is your return on that investment? So you need to make sure that you're putting money in places where it is going to give you the very best rate of return.